What's up guys, Alpine to Goo here. Today we're gonna to talk about R subwoofers, and this is a Type R15. This happens to be one of the original samples, so it's safe to say that this sub is probably about 16 years old. Still looks alive and well though. This is probably one of the subs that really sparked my love of car audio. Let's take a look at what makes the R subwoofer so iconic, and for old time's sake, take this bad boy out for a spin. <laughs> Type R man, a brand that brings back some memories for me. If you haven't noticed yet, I love bass, which is a problem for a casual SQ competitor like myself, but seriously though, I can resist that feeling a proper subwoofer adds to your music. When I started up in car audio in the late 90s, early 2000s, I went through a ton of subs, but none of them quite made an impact like the Type R. In fact, I love the Type R so much that later on I managed to shoehorn a 15 inch Type R, much like this one, into my tiny Honda S2000. Don't ask. In the mid to late 90s, Alpine's Japanese-based subwoofer strategy was somewhat struggling to gain momentum in the US. You guys might remember the ZR subs, right? Fortunately, the legendary Jason Kimmerer and his product planning team took on subwoofer development right here in the US and injected that American love for bass into the new, at the time, Type R subwoofer. This marked the beginning of American-developed Alpine subwoofers, which continues today. Now, when it comes to designing subwoofers, there's obviously a lot to think about, but if I can oversimplify a bit, you want to move a lot of air, which is traditionally done by a large cone that moves back and forth. In order to make good sounding bass, it needs suspension that keeps it stable, like a spider or a surround. And finally, you need to do something with all that heat that's created when you shoot hundreds or thousands of watts into a small tube of copper wire. Every generation of the Type R, six if you count the shallow Rs, introduced new technologies from Alpine that gave the R subs their edge. These technologies were developed not only to produce overwhelming amounts of bass, but also maintain control of the sub, so you can enjoy listening to music and not a bunch of really loud bass tones. The original Type R had a single and dual voice call version available in 10s, 12s, and 15s. The SWR1240D handled up to 300 watts RMS. It was loud in both performance and design with its bright silver dust cap and big red Type R badging. It also introduced a new method of heat management called an integrated HTP, or heat transfer plate. This allowed heat buildup in the voice coil to escape safely underneath the sub without damaging the motor, so you can play these things louder for longer. The next major leap in the Type R legacy was the third generation SWR1242D in 2005. This thing was a beast and really made the Type R the powerhouse it is today. It brought in the iconic hammer surround that we still use to this day and introduced technologies like voice call shorting, which is a way to stop the cone faster so you don't get unwanted distortion. It also used a perimeter vented heat transfer plate and an airflow motor. All of these advancements led to nearly double the amount of power the previous generation can handle and sound quality to boot. This wasn't just a loud one note wonder, it actually sounded great with your music. Fast forward to today and we now have the most advanced Type R, or should I say R series, subwoofer ever. The r SW12D4 is a 750 watt RMS driver with tons of headroom for power. On top of many of the technologies adopted and improved upon from previous generations, we've also included an advanced multi-mineral cone pulp Kevlar along with mica and talc, giving you that ear-pleasing bass tone. We've also reinforced the cone neck and spider joint for added longevity. They're also available preloaded into fantastic looking halo enclosures, so you don't have to worry about finding the perfect pre-made box or building one yourself. Look, I can go on for days talking about the latest R-Series subwoofer, but when you say we whip up a custom box for this old school bad boy, anyone know if MDF sheets fit in a minivan? That was a lot cooler in my head.
hear this. Now it's been a minute since I built a custom box. It's pretty fun once. All right, let's see if this thing stays together. Now that was a whole lot of loud and fun. Well, most of it. I think I'll leave the box building to the pros. Wouldn't it be nice if you could just snap your fingers and get that amazing R base and that custom box look without all the custom? What a time to be alive. That's appropriate. With the new preloaded Halo R series subwoofer boxes, you can get the latest Alpine sub technology in a platform 20 years in the making, already loaded into the perfect enclosure to maximize base performance. No need to fiddle with deal small parameters or sell out a ton of money for hours of custom work. And these things really get down. 750 watts RMS each, ported at 35 hertz. These are definitely the most advanced R-series subwoofers we've ever made, and they sound phenomenal. The R-series Halo preload enclosures come in two models, the 12-inch R-SB12V and the 10-inch R-SB10V. Both are individually wired at two ohms. Get that signature Halo look by combining two Halo subs with a 10 or 12-inch linking bracket. The fun doesn't stop with subs. Match the R-series subs with R-series mono amps, the R-A75M, for maximum performance. Complete your total R-Series system with a set of high-resolution R-Series component speakers, along with a four or six-channel R-Series high-resolution amp. Man, you remember when you had to actually use math to figure out what amps work with your speakers and subs? Now you can get an entire R-Series sound system with perfectly matched power and pre-made subwoofer enclosures. So easy. Well, friends, thanks for joining me on my trip down memory lane. If you guys have any great stories about Type R or R series, let us know in the comments. We would love to hear from you. Now, if you haven't done it yet, like us on Facebook and subscribe to Alpine TV on YouTube. Be sure to turn on notifications so you can be the first to get all the latest content from Alpine. Be safe, guys, and tune in next time for what's new.